All right, welcome back to reviewing for your Algebra 1 Semester 1 final exam. We're working problem 17, or whatever number you might have for this year. Just make sure the problem looks like the one on the screen. Um, they say, which of the following equations has a slope of 1 half and goes through the point negative 6, 2? So we have to build an equation, or in fact, we have to look at six different equations. Um, and so in order to do that, I would start with probably the easiest way to write an equation, which I think is going to be that hk form. Now, you might say, well, but I love mx plus b. That's my favorite form ever. That's okay. You can use mx plus b. There's ways to do this problem with it. But the issue with mx plus b is b, you need the y-intercept. And I think if you think about the point negative 6, 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, comma 2, that point's not on the y-axis, it's not a y-intercept. And so it becomes a little bit trickier to write an equation when you don't have the y-intercept, which is why hk form is so powerful, because you can write the equation for any point, which is what we have here. So here is our equation in hk form. 1 half is our slope, x minus negative 6 is our h, and 2 is our k. And we should probably clean that up a little bit. 1 half x, 2 negatives make a plus 6, plus 2. Cool. Now we say, all right, which one of these does that match? And you look over and go, drat. It actually doesn't really match any of them. That's unfortunate. Um, so a couple things we can do. We can try making sure y is by itself in every single equation. That's probably a good thing to do, too. So to get y by itself here, um, we just need to add 6 to both sides. And so when I add 6 to both sides, I get this. 1 half x minus 2 plus 6, and that doesn't match my equation. Agreed so far? Now, it could still be an answer, so we're going to come back to that later on, but it doesn't seem to match so far. So I'll just put a question mark next to it and we'll come back. Now if I add 2 to both equations, I get 1 half x plus 6 plus 2, and that one does match. That matches exactly what I wrote. I know for sure that's going to be an answer, but I can't stop here because it says select all that apply. So let's go further. Um, let's get y by itself in a couple more equations and then see how we're doing. I'm going to work equations h and j down below. So h, I'll do right here. h is that x plus 2y equal to 5. And if I want to get y by itself, we need to know that y is being multiplied by 2 and added by this x over here, or this 1x we always know we undo addition or subtraction first, so I'm going to subtract the 1x from both sides. It doesn't really matter how you write this, but it's most common to put the x's first, so I'm going to put the negative 1x first, and then I'm going to put the positive 5 at the end. Last but not least, we need to realize that y is being multiplied by 2, so to undo that we need to divide everything by 2. And this is really like distributive property, I'm going to distribute the division to everything. So negative 1 divided by 2x plus 5 divided by 2. So there's h with y by itself, and now we're getting closer. I already have f, I have g, um, I now have done h, y is by itself, y is by itself, I just have j. So maybe J I can do in, oh, I don't know what haven't I used yet. Um, let's go green, that's fine. So when we do J, very similar to H, we have X minus 2Y equal to negative 10. I always like to put the coefficient, that 1 in front of X, just so I don't forget about it. And now we do the same thing. I need to go through and isolate Y. The negative 2 is multiplying. The positive 1X is adding. So I'm going to go through and subtract 1X from both sides. And we end up with, don't forget the negative that's still here, a negative 2 times y is equal to negative 1 times x minus 10. Last but not least, divide off the negative 2 that's out front. Don't forget that when you do multiplication or division, you need to distribute that number to everything. So I get negative 1 divided by negative 2x. And then we have this negative 10 divided by negative 2 that I'll come back to. So don't forget that a negative divided by a negative will make this a positive fraction. Negative divided by a negative, well, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and negative divided by a negative is positive, and so there's my other. So now I have all the equations with y by itself, but the problem is they don't all look the same. And the only thing I know for sure is that this equation up here is right. 
Well, most of my other equations have parentheses, so maybe we should work with this top equation and see if it actually, see what happens if I remove the parentheses. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 1 half. So I get 1 half x, half of 6 is 3. And we need to continue. 3 plus 2 is 5. All of these are the same equation, but let's see if this matches anything we've seen so far. 1 half x plus 5, well, it matches i. That's the same equation. Okay. Um, it definitely does not match k. That has the wrong y-intercept. Um, let's see what else. Let's look at h and j. h, nope, wrong slope. That's a negative 1 half, so it can't be h. Um, but then j, oh, it does match j. That's exciting. So we end up here. Last but not least, the only one we're not sure about is f. And so f, I might want to go through and see if it's going to match by doing the same thing by removing the parentheses. And I'll show that work down here. So currently f, we have y equals 1 half parentheses x minus 2 plus 6. I'm going to distribute the 1 half to get 1 half x minus 1 plus 6. And then combine like terms, 6 minus 1, that is 5. And oh ho ho, look at that, we also match. So we actually have four different equations here that are all the same thing, just written in a different form technique that we used, started with hk form, got y by itself in each equation, and then distributed to get rid of the parentheses.